Hi guys and welcome back to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I realise that Halloween has now been and gone but I thought I would give you an idea for maybe next year as to what I did with my pumpkin this year. So I decided to cross stitch a cobweb onto my pumpkin. It wasn't the quickest or easiest thing to do but I thought I would do a quick tutorial to show you guys how it's done because it's a really fun technique and it's a great way of putting your own stamp on your pumpkin without carving it in the normal way or using candles. It's also great for kids because they can feel the texture of the wool that's used in the pattern. You can use any colour or design that you like and I just think it's a fantastic effect. <laughs> You'll need large tapestry needles, any old black wool, black marker pen, black biro, a pumpkin, a knife and a cake tester or any kind of long thin stick. So first of all you need to cut the lid off your pumpkin and scoop out the insides. I designed this pattern myself, the cobweb design, but you can get anything really. You can either draw it on by hand or you can get some pre-printed pattern off the internet, print it off onto a piece of paper and mark out your dots with a knife or a pen through the paper. You then need to get a drill with quite a thin drill bit on the end and drill through every hole that you've marked. So I did this by hand, I sketched it out first with the biro and then did a larger dot with the permanent marker. But just make sure you're completely happy with your pattern before you start drilling because obviously you can't change it once you start. Then you need to thread your needle with a really, really long length of wool. I can't stress enough how thick the pumpkin seems to be. I must have used 10 plus metres of wool because I doubled it up on the needle and the pumpkin is so thick that it just took tonnes of wool to do all of the cross stitches. It's quite hard to find the hole from the inside of the pumpkin so I use this cake tester stick to shove through the hole on the outside to find my way from the inside as to where to put my needle. So keep going according to your pattern until you have cross stitched the entire thing. Then do a knot on the end of your wool so that it all holds it securely. I then also stitched this cobweb design on top. It was too delicate to actually do big cross stitches but I just did the thread across and draped it across like this. It probably did take me two hours from start to finish so it's not the quickest thing to do with your pumpkin and it probably would have been quicker and easier to carve it but I really enjoyed the process it's something a bit different and you could use all different kinds of patterns with all different colours of wool so thanks so much for watching guys please leave me a comment below if you've got any questions and let me know what's the craziest thing that you've ever cross stitched please like the video below by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe to see more videos like this and also click the bell icon so that you'll get a notification next time I upload a cross stitch related video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!